And what is going on everybody? I'm Secretly Toasty here and today we're playing some more FR Legends. Today we are turning this BMW E30 into a tailgate attack specific race car. I know this game is about drifting, but they just added the tailgate attack and that doesn't involve drifting, that involves regular course driving. So, let me show you what this thing does from stock performance and then we'll start adding body kits and everything like that. And we'll uh do some performance mods and everything like that and make this a true race car. In the game, they have some body kits that make it look like one of those silhouette cars from the 90s and 80s. So that's what sparked my interest to build something like this. Not to mention, uh, this thing has such a huge racing pedigree and not much of a drifting pedigree. If you were talking about drifting, you'd probably bring up the E36 for BMWs. But the E30 is more race inspired than drifting inspired. So that's exactly what we're going to build. Plus, in game, they have a bunch of. Oh, I think I, already, I think I already mentioned that. But as you can see, this thing is just absolutely killing these corners. Not really losing much traction and definitely didn't slide out or oversteer. So it handled it really good. So already from stock it handles pretty good. Now let me show you what Gunsai, or however you pronounce that, is like. Tell me down in the comment section how you pronounce that. Because I've always been saying it like that, but I know I'm wrong. Either that or I'm just saying it's super white, because I am super white. Ooh, and I touched. My bad. Oh my god, I'm so quirky. That was by accident. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be the only one that found that funny, but that's whatever. Anyways, as you can see, other than my terrible driving, it handled it really, really well. So, you know what, while I'm doing it, I'm gonna take one attempt at the full course, and uh, if I crash, I crash, if I spin out, I spin out. Uh, if I finish it, then that's pretty cool. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So we're gonna we're gonna see that right now. We're gonna determine whether or not I'm actually decent at driving. Which is probably not, seeing how I smacked a guardrail last course. So already I'm off to a pretty decent start. The car has no problem. The car will do this no problem. I've done it multiple times in this vehicle. I'm just worried about my own driving. Now see, this is the spot that the other course started off with, and I instantly smacked the guardrail at the same exact spot. Ain't that ironic. Oh, well, whatever. So yeah, it does lose a little bit of traction here and there. It's nothing too crazy. I'm not spinning out, though. And then that's where the other one ended. So from here on, it's completely different. So... So far, so good. I tapped the guardrail a little bit, but that's just, uh, that was just to help me take that turn better. That's exactly what it was. I totally meant to do that on purpose. That's a nice bridge. It's doing its best. Ooh, I forget this turn. Ooh, I spun. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get back on the course. Nope. Oh, yes, it let me back on. Okay, because usually it'll fail me after that, but it didn't for some reason. I am down by 2.5 seconds, and I do look stupid. But, uh, hopefully I can pull something right now. Hopefully I can beat that 155 mark, especially with that penalty. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it no problem. Perfect. 153-something? 154-something. All right. That's still $1,200. So anyways, let's fix the problems I made. Let's let's do some body kits real quick just to make it look more like an M3. Let's sell the stock ones because I have recorded this video before. But then I realized, hey, I didn't show you what the stock performance was like. So I have a bunch of these stock parts. So when I go with this one, we're going to go with the M3 inspired extended bumper. Because I really like how that looks. And then, of course, the fenders. There's these ones that look tacky and look more drift-inspired. And these ones just look like uh, stock M3 fenders. 
So we're going to go with those. And same with the rear. They have the same option right there. The roof, the roof spoiler is just to remove the antenna, which I think is absolutely obnoxious. I don't understand why they added a roof antenna for these ones, but not for any of the other vehicles. Last time I added a set of dampeners that were two inches. So it was, oh no, was it a two or was it a three? No. Let's go three inches. See how that looks. Let me go look at the two and see how that looks. I think I like the two a little bit better. So we're going to go sell those again. And sell the stock ones. Let's put some brakes on it, see if maybe that'll bring up some performance. Eh, you know what? No, let's not do that. So already it looks like an M3. Let me just add the side skirts. So that's already a pretty decent race car. Let's add the BMW spoiler, even though that's supposed to be on an E36. Let's just add that just for a little bit of downforce. And then, of course, I'm on stock tires. So let's go with... What has better grip? That has the same grip, but these have better durability. And then these cost gold, which I don't have. 125. That's 120, and these are used semi-slicks for 125 with 125 grip. I don't necessarily need durability. So let's just try those, see if I can get a little extra grip out of it. And then for the rims, we're going to put some gold spokes. I know the, I know it comes silver spokes, but uh, I like the way the gold spokes look. So we're going to go with super wide tires. Well, before I do that, let's... Oh, the flange is all the way in. It's not going to fit. Ooh, that's inconvenient. All right, then we're not going to go super duper thick. We're going to go with some semi-thick. Do those fit? They'll fit good enough. Oh, do I have the money for it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, no problem. All right. So that looks a lot better. Hopefully that corner's a bit better, but we're still going to add some power mods. Let's go one brick just to see how that performs. And then uh, we might go two by the end of Oh, no. We'll probably go two in the next video. But let me show you how it performs. I haven't tried it yet. This is as far as I've gotten. So what I'm about to experience is the same time as you're going to experience it. So. All right. It's actually cornering pretty good. Flat out. Ooh, I cut two had too much grip I let go and it just shot itself into the corner so that was driver error right there all right and then slow down a bit for the corner So I remember previously it was at 33, but that was, you know, without me going off track. So I count that as like a 32 something, a high 32. Well, let's try that again. Let's see if I can go the whole course without going off track and almost go off track almost instantly. So, so far pretty good. The main problem is not the power, it's not the grip, it's driver error. You just have to keep practicing, and I definitely have to keep practicing. You'll get better at it eventually, uh, but in all honesty, this is a drifting game, so it might not be the best physics for it, but that's okay, because it's still fun. Now, let's go try... I don't think I'm going to try full, because I think full is just going to... I'm just going to send myself off into the woods. 
I don't, I, I'm not really looking forward to this one either. But uh, we'll see what happens. I just need to uh, get some gold so that way I can buy the grippier tires. Oh look, I slam into the guardrail at the same exact point every single time. It's almost like I'm not learning from my mistakes. Ain't that... What's the word? Ain't that a surprise. Come on, don't slam into the guardrail. Ooh, I just missed it by 0.147 seconds. Oh, I almost got that 22. How did I get 20 previously? I must have had more power. Ooh, it must have been that chaser that I had. Or, I think I still have it. Ow, I hit the front bumper. Or rather, the front fender. Well, let's try this again. I'll go fix it, and then I'll try to do full. But, if I fail it, I'm just gonna end the video. Ooh, ooh, I learned from my mistakes. That's probably never gonna happen again. So yeah, it, it's all about driver. It's all about driver skill. Yes! Yeah, I got the 22. I got the 22. Yes, sir. All right, now let's fix that. Whoa, that fender's expensive. Anyways, let's go full. If I fail it, I end the video. If not, I'm probably still gonna end the video, but the video is gonna be ever so slightly longer. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can go the full course without, you know, failing. I'd love that. And instantly go off. That's crazy. You know what? I take back what I said. I'm going to try that again. Just because that was just me pushing it a little too hard. So I'm going to give myself just one more try. See, if I was any further, I'd probably consider that a fail. But I'm going to try it. I knew I should have slowed down there, but I wanted to see if these grippy tires would handle it. They did not. Alright, almost lost it there, but I saved myself. Now this is the part that I'm really worried about. Because I suck at this part. I went off a little bit, but nothing too crazy, nothing detrimental. So, just gotta focus in these corners, but it's really hard to focus when you're also trying to narrate. But if I don't narrate, all you're just gonna hear is this heavy breathing, because it's hot and... Ooh, I slipped, I slipped, I slipped, I slipped, I slipped, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. go, 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 go. Okay, so, I did fall off, and it did give me a 2.350 second penalty. But I didn't fail, so I'm going to finish the course, or at least I'm going to try to, and just not worry about the time. I think the sharp corner is coming up here. Yes, it is. So just slow it down a bit. Just go around the corner. There, now it's at 2.903 seconds, because I went over once again. Now let's just try to finish. Don't slam through the guardrail. Probably... I probably could have taken that last turn a bit faster if I didn't get on the brakes. If I just let go of the gas, I fell off. Just let me finish, just let me finish, just let me finish, just let me... No! Right, right, right. Right at the finish line, man. Oh, that sucks. I did all that just to... Ooh, that, that sucked. You know what, let me, let me just end this with a... a, a a decent race. Let me go around this course. Let me finish the video with a decent run. Oh, I didn't even show you the liveries. I'll show you that next. Oh, you know what? No. Oh, it just takes two seconds. So I'll show you that in a moment. They should add the other courses as toge courses, especially that parking lot one you, you first start off with. I think that'd be pretty nifty, because a lot of these uh, 
a lot of these races are just that, but with cones. And that's exactly what the... That's exactly what, um... That course is, is just cones in a parking lot. So, there's events like that that are pretty cool. Let me show you which ones I think would be pretty cool. Obviously, the Drift Park would be nice. Indy Speedway, obviously. Just give us the whole speedway. And uh, maybe the turns inside that you had there. School course wouldn't be too fun because it's really small. But it could be done. EBM would be okay. Grange would be really cool. Especially since they have events like that there. I think that'd be really nifty. Kansai, it'd be fun I guess. It's a little too small for my liking. But a lot of you might like it. Hiroshima may not be the greatest because it's really small. It's a lot of embankment. And U.S. Air, immediate would be, immediately would be probably one of the best ones. It just seems like it'd be really, really fun. And of course, we already have NKC. So, before I end the video, let me just show you those liveries I was talking about. Paint can. Livery button. So they have this one, which I associate with a GTR. But, you know, it's still a pretty cool one. But I think that's on every car. Now, of course, they have these, but that is, these two are definitely BMW race car inspired. Like, it is exactly like the race cars, not drift cars. No, exactly like the race cars that I inspired this off of. So it's almost like they wanted us to take this on the toge, but not drift it. I mean, obviously, people are going to drift it. It's a given. But that just screams toge attack, or rather just racing attack so anyways if you liked the video leave a like if you dislike the video leave a dislike tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video talk to me down in the comment section i love hearing your guys's feedback so if you have a question or if you want to tell me something if there's something i can improve on or something i need to keep doing for further videos let me know i want to improve especially since i am trying to get myself back into the the routine of recording um my so there are some social medias down in the description. I haven't quite fixed it yet because there has been a lot of change since I last recorded. Since I've recorded the, since I've you know, added those on there, there has been changes. So, there are some in there. There are a lot that aren't in there. Uh, but anyways, if you like the video, leave a like. If it is, oh no, I already did that part. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I'm trying to post more often. And I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.